Chelsea Speaker from Handel's Black Global Edition. Every piece of artwork has a creator, and many of them can sign their work. But what about things like videos or digital photography? Three entrepreneurs in Berlin had an idea. We were just brainstorming one day after visiting a gallery, and the question was, how do you own video art? And why wouldn't you own digital art the way you own Bitcoin. And that's kind of how the project started. Artists register their work with a scribe service for free. Their artwork gets a kind of virtual stamp, which is forever assigned to the piece of work on the internet. We all started this company with a certain idea to help the art world and to make sure artists can be compensated in the digital world because today if you put anything on the internet it copies very quickly. So the whole idea is to change the way things work in the art world. And so sometimes when you're creating work and it goes up online, like whether it's Instagram, Facebook or on some like media site, people, they like your images, which is a really cool thing, but that stuff gets shared around. Once it's in our network, um if you are the author and you've claimed it for yourself, when your stuff gets shared, your name stays with that. I'm pretty sure that the technology can be used in a lot of other segments. So it can go mainstream, kind of. Yeah? So you can use it for, for any photographer. So maybe they are in a premium market right now, which is small, which is at the top of the pyramid. But there are more potential customers and areas where can they use the technology out there. If they prove that the artist earns more money using their technology, this is something that can scale uh, globally. Since its establishment in 2014, 3,000 artists and some 30,000 works of art have been registered with a scribe. International investors contributed around $2 million to support the Berlin startup. I think for these customers from the creative scene, it's very important to not have to pay at the beginning of the process but uh, only uh, when they, they earn money from their customers, then of course it's okay to pay for the service that ensures that their work is only used uh, in a legal way. The Ascribe software developers also came up with a special tool to track digital artwork online. So the overall goal is if you are a creator and you want to understand where your work ends up online, this tool will show basically the copies versus time where on the internet it spreads. So it will say the image has appeared in 404 websites and 1,831 unique pages. If I'm a creator, I can see where my work's showing up and it's basically got this um, secure code that no one can uh, change. So it's um, fraud proof basically. They've been pretty good about tracking uh, where your content is being shared. So you can get a bit more insight as to who your audience is. Like, maybe I'm spending all my time and money uh, being in a fair in, say, Los Angeles, when the demographic of people are actually in Sao Paulo. And that's where I should be looking at actually doing fairs and exhibitions. The three Canadian entrepreneurs made a conscious choice to found their company in Berlin and not Silicon Valley. With more than 400 galleries, the German capital is an epicenter of art. There's a lot of benefits to Berlin. Um, cost of living is reasonable, not insane. Um, visas are reasonable, not insane. We've brought a lot of people from North America, etc. Um, Silicon Valley, it's less loyal, right? So um, people who come and join a scribe, they're really bought into and they're not going to leave you know, three months, six months down the road. So there are a ton of benefits um, to starting a company in Berlin, in Germany, over Silicon Valley. I think Berlin has, for good reasons, moved up in most of the global surveys regarding Berlin as a tech place and a place for startups. There's more and more international talent coming into the city. Uh, there's more and more capital available to fund these startups. And uh, there's a real community of founders, entrepreneurs, investors, um, but also you know, service providers emerging that nurture this new ecosystem. We've built some technology that's foundational to how the internet can work in the future. And that is a big thing because this technology kind of permeates through society in a different way. Then that's going to be our big impact. Zira is a research and rating service for investors based in Tel Aviv. It provides tools that help investors assess the quality and potential of funding private companies. We asked them to give us their analysis of Ascribe. The Zero Rating System grants Ascribe uh, a score of 7.6 out of 10. 
uh, which is definitely above average for a company that stage. The good side is uh, that the company definitely put together proprietary technology, uh, something that can differentiate them in this space, which is very technology driven. On the negative side, there is only one thing to say, the company is way, way, way early on their life cycle and uh, needs to see how the market actually accepts their solution. Thank you.